Hello everybody, uh, welcome back to Digital Electronic Course. Uh, in this uh, chapter or this video we'll be talking about how to simplify a, log simplify a logic circuit. Uh, the main reason for this process is to eliminate spending a lot of money, spending a lot of time and uh, the goal is to have it as cheaper as efficient as uh, as it can get so we will start on how to simplify this circuit and then how to optimize it and then how to apply it and apply it to the circuit board and save money save time and be efficient and faster and good outcome to the company and we are all happy so let's jump start here um uh, it's asked like what if someone asks you to build a circuit using a truth table uh, so that will be example here if a function of if a function of uh, x1 input x1 x2 and x3 is given uh, what is it asking the summation of uh, min term term number two three four six and seven so like create a function create a, a circuit board using this logic circuit uh, logic function so what does that mean it's actually mean here we'll explain in a second it means that uh, in this function we have three inputs and our output will be let it on or will be logically true in min term two min term three min term four min term six min term seven or summation of these all we will have output one output true for all these inputs so let's to further uh, simplify this thing so what does it say here and uh, if you look at the input one input two input three here so this is my input one input i'm sorry input one is this one input two input three and this is my output for all these three inputs so the function is asking to have input one input two input three summation of that which will be min term like in min term uh, notation we will have a min term two on which is this one and uh, min term three on which is a this guy min term four is this one right here and min term, min term six and seven so summation of these all will get a output of one or they'll be logically true i did not put a zero in there where wherever that is asked so the min term hello welcome back to today's session of ex example of simplifying logical circuits uh, in this video we'll be talking about how to simplify a logic circuit uh, using a truth table or using a, a function that's given and uh, we'll talk about like some of the alg uh, boolean algebra theorem uh, we will just briefly discuss it uh, we will mention the de morgan's theorem uh, actually we did mention it last in the last video uh, we will go through how to maneuver this function and uh, bring those min term to the life and create a function in the uh, there's already a function to create a logic circuit board and then go and simplify that so the goal is the reason we optimize and simplify this circuit and use the least minimum logic gates is to save some money for the company or if we are, if we are doing it for ourselves uh, for the time the sake of time money and time time is money so we gotta save both of them for that we need to do some boolean algebra expression we have to know them how to simplify the logic circuits and we will later on we will talk about uh, k map or Kernoff map uh, we will be mapping them too so that will also help us to simplify these logic circuits um, so it, when you see this um if somebody asks you to build a circuit using the truth table, uh, which this is a function right now, function, uh, 
function of three input and three inputs are given so the uh, outcome should be uh, summation of midterm 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 to midterm two three four six and seven so that telling me all of these inputs will initiate the output uh, when the midterm two three four six and seven are on or that will be output high or logically true so that's what basically mean whenever one of these input the condition for these are met midterm two three four six seven should be true uh, if you look at the logic uh, truth table here uh, we have three inputs input one input two input three and we have output for x1 x2 x3 uh, if you look at that first one we have in an output section that is our min term min term 2 is equal to if you look at input uh, 1 2 3 here and you will find out the decimal uh, decimal 2 if, if you find out decimal 2 will be the third row from the top so third row is um, one two three so is input one is off x1 is off will we say x1 not and x2 is on so x2 and x3 is off so it'll be x3 not uh, so that is m2 or min term 2 let's see min term 3 is uh, x1 is off x2 is on and x3 is also on so x2 and x3 and so on it's uh, up all the way to input 7 uh, uh, min term 7 which will be m7 x1 is on input 2 is on input 3 is on so that will be the explanation for these min terms that uh, truth table will explain that to us so which one is on and which one which one of the input is off and how that correspond to the output section so the uh, so if you go like the canonical sum of product expression is derived using the min terms which we just express the min terms how we uh, write the min term so the canonical form will be derived using them so what will happen because since we said in the earlier section was a, a function of x1 x2 and x3 was equal to summation of min term all the way to uh, from m2 to m7 but they are specified which one m2 m3 m4 m6 and m7 so if we got those m2 or the min term 2 already here uh, that is explained wherever is the input is on we will write it down as a input but not a bar over bar over it but when there is off we will write it down uh, x2 for instance uh, if that x2 is off we will put a O, small over bar over it if it is on we will have n we will not have to put a bar or over bar over the input so i'll just explain it this way for mt look at the truth table where we see the binary two uh, i would say like decimal two this is a decimal two which is uh, the the first output one which is turned on uh, will be zero one zero zero one zero so decimal two it is in line three which we said this is line three that's how we write it down and we will write this one as a when it's zero which is input uh, x1 x1 is zero so we'll have a that will be x naught because it's not on and x2 is one so we will just write x2 x3 is also zero we will have a x3 not so that is equal to min term 2 that's how we derived it using canonical sum of product uh, expressions so i i wrote it down all of them here so m2 is uh, right here m2 is uh, m3 is right here too m3 is also we can write it down so 0 1 0 this is 0 1 1 and this is 1 0 0 m6 is 110 and m7 is 111 
So all of these are, uh, if you know, if you have a little bit control over binary number system and that conversion to the decimal system, we will know what M2, M3, M4 and all the way to M7 means. So now since we got that, we can uh, uh, use this function, this function and simplify that and put them all together instead of M2, M3, just put their values. So F is equal to our function of the tools three input is equal to so this is m2 m3 m4 m6 and m7 all of these inputs are there now uh, if we simplify using bool boolean algebra identities we will get this answer right there which is f is equal to output f is equal to x2 or with x1 and x3 not so that will bring me to so what is that that is actually two input uh, that have we have here we have one and gate sorry we have yeah we have one and gate we have two input or gate we have a not gate so what we have what we have to use okay we use a two input or gate we use two input And gate we also have a one not gate not gate so to draw this logic circuit let's draw this logic circuit so this is the logic circuit that we got it after simplifying this is after simplifying it i hope you guys underst uh, understand my writing um, it's not it's not that good but i'm trying to make it that you you and everybody can read it and that's after simplifying the circuit so this is after simplifying it and before simplifying we will see that logic circuit which will be this whole function uh, in that function we will need a one two three four five five input or logic gate we will need one two three four five five uh, five three input and logic gates we will need one two three three AND gates I'm sorry three NOT gates and I will simplify I will make that logic circuit and then you will have to decide which one is easier which one is easy to determine uh, how much does it cost and which one is easier to draw and which one is easy to draw it quicker and efficiently and without making it without mistake so hang on I'll draw that logic circuit and we can compare it for ourselves so before simplifying the circuit was um, the function was uh, given as these uh, min terms uh, canonical, for, canonical form uh, if we go and draw this logic circuit and this will look something like that we have three inputs uh, we as we said we will have we will need five input or logic gate which is this one um, we will need five three input and logic gates which is this one we got one right here one right here one right here one right there that's four and this is the fifth one and we will need some not gates which is the inverters one is right here and one is right here and we will be having one more for x to one right here so we need three uh, inverters too it takes time it almost took me like 15 minutes to draw this logic circuit uh, it'll be easier to simplify this logic circuit and draw it and redraw it so that will optimize our 
expenditure, your time, and um, we'll be both happy. The company will be happy and we'll be happy. We'll have to save some time. I asked a question earlier. Okay, here. Do you want to know how we got this one? Um, this question that I asked, I'm gonna go and uh, uh, tell you and show you how did we get from this long uh, midterm function to this short only two terms function. We will do that in next video. Uh, please review if you have any question. Uh, let's post it in the comment. Thank you.